Hey beautifuls! So today I'm finally getting back into the video making spirit. Um, please apologize, I apologize if you guys can see my bra through my shirt first of all. Second of all, I am really sick as you guys may know from my vlogmas which the playlist is below as well as I will say right now I didn't really mention in my past couple videos for whatever reason, I don't know. But uh, my giveaway, my 1000 subscriber giveaway is going on on my Instagram right now so if you want to join in the action then definitely go and click the link below and it will bring you right to the post and all the directions that you need to follow to enter the giveaway. Um, it will end New Year's Eve so definitely get right on that. Today's video is going to be a talk through because um, I feel like crap and I'm going to start to edit, Ugh, hello, what is that? I'm going to start to edit more videos on my phone because as you guys know I've had a dilemma with my Mac for ever now and sometimes videos will upload sometimes they will fail multiple times before they do upload so it's just a pain just a big pain in my ass but yeah so I am surviving this morning on Canada Dry not sponsored but uh I just feel absolutely horrible and Christmas is like two days away why why you guys why but um i hope i do get better soon time i know a lot of you girls and guys out there will be going to holiday parties spending time with family um going to family gatherings and events which i used to hate that growing up you guys a two in one tutorial today um one with a, a nudie look and bold lips and one with my urban decay electric palette and uh nudie lips so we will just get started right now i'm gonna put on my face so I'm hopefully going to skip over this. I don't think you guys really need to see much. This is what my completed face looks like at the moment. I know it still looks like I have pimples and stuff, but I'm not really too worried about it because I'm not going anywhere today anyways. So this video is basically just for you guys. Then I'm using my Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Shadow Primer that I got in a little sample kit from Sephora. I absolutely love this primer. I've been using it like pretty much every time I wear eyeshadow now. It is really awesome and you don't need that much. So the first look I'm going to be showing you guys is a very simple kind of eye look with a very bold lip and I'm using my Maybelline the Nudes palette shockingly enough. I'm actually not using any of my baked eyeshadow palettes because I feel like I've overworked them with you guys a lot. So I actually am just winging this right now but this is pretty much something that I would wear if I was going for a simple kind of a look. So the first color I'm going to take is this color right here. It looks matte but it is shiny. Um, you just can't really tell that much. That well. And I'm just going to place it all over my lid. So it kind of like slightly changes the color of your eye at least. At least it looks like it did for me. I like to dab the colors on, by the way. Okay, so the next color I'm going to take is this shinier color right here. I have been using this palette lately, but only have really been using the shimmery colors because I really prefer um, shimmery shadows over um, matte shadows. I don't know why I just do, and I'm just taking my crease brush, and I just go really lightly into the crease with it because I notice that if I pack it in too much it kind of looks a little cray but I just really wanted to find my crease that's what I'm trying to do so I just kind of go in with like a soft kind of you guys can kind of tell like I just kind of go in really really softly I don't really want to go in too harsh and then I just build it up and I know it looks a little crazy now but I I do go back in and fix it and then I just like to make a little um I like to go down like this so it kind of looks like a cat eye kind of a look if you guys can tell. It's what I really like to do with my shadows so if you guys notice that I'm doing this in this look you don't have to do that but that's just what I like to do. Then I'm taking my blending brush and I'm just going to um, first off blend the two colors together before I blend out the crease. I noticed if I blend out the crease before I do the colors then it looks a little bit weird. <laughs> so I'm just blending that out very, very quickly. And then I'm just going to blend into the crease a little more, blend it out. And if you lose your base color, it's okay because you can just go back in and uh, touch it up after, which is what I usually do. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the taupe color that we already used on my blending brush right here. And I'm just going to sweep it underneath, even though you probably couldn't see it that well, but just gives a nice added like definition something to your eye 
I know it looks like you're dead right now if you if you actually if you do this. I like to just put color underneath my eyelid because it I might lower light lower lower lid whatever you want to call this just because I feel like it gives like added something and it really makes my eyes bring out my eyes because it's kind of like they're coming through the darkness if you guys get what I'm saying is that makes if that makes any sense I just prefer it. I've seen a lot of gurus do it and I just love it and that's pretty much like my signature thing that I've been doing lately so I don't know but that's just me then I'm gonna take my eco tools brush which is slanted as you guys have seen multiple times and I'm just gonna dip it actually into this color right here I've actually haven't used this color in a while it's kind of like a shimmery like a darker shimmery more like yellow toned shimmery color than the other one in the palette I don't know and I'm just gonna lightly kind of put it right on my um, inner corner to bring it out a little more and to high give it a little bit of a highlight um, I'm not going crazy with it like I normally do because this is supposed to be more simple sort of eye look and now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put a tiny tiny dab of black into it just to uh, bring it bring it out a little bit just to define my eyes because you guys can see my crease but you can't like really see it if you guys get what I'm saying so I'm just taking a tiny bit on the brush and I'm just putting it in the crease so you guys can't hopefully can't really notice it too too much but it just gives like a little extra added something and then you can always go in and blend it out which is what I'm going to do right after I do this because I don't want like a crazy amount of black in my in this look since it's supposed to be very simple I'm just blending it out. I'm blending it down. The same thing, blend it out. And blend it sort of down with the rest of my eye. So it just gives a little bit extra like definition to your eye if you guys notice. Then I'm just going to add a highlight to my brows with that same color that we used for our um, our inner corner highlight. Now, usually I would take my Urban Decay 24-7 um, pencil if I was going to a party or something, but since this is pretty much sort of an everyday look that I would wear, or um, I'm not going anywhere really, so I'm just going to use my uh, little Rimmel London uh, waterline eyeliner that I use. I can't talk today. And then you could definitely tight line if you would like. I'm very bad at it. I like suck horribly at tight lining. I used to be able to do it in middle school and now I can't do it anymore. Curl our lashes. I'm just going to use my Rimmel London um, Lash Accelerator Endless Mascara. But I usually use um, Benefit on the weekend or for special occasions, my They're Real. But I still love this mascara as well and I do recommend it to you guys. And finally to finish up the face, what I'm just going to do is put a little bit of blush on. Not really too much blush of course because... We don't want to look crazy, but I mean, I'm just going to put a little bit on the stippling brush and I'm working it out. So what I do is I like to just work one part of my um, cheek, so kind of like the apple right here, and then just kind of blend it out. And then I like to use a um, bigger stippling brush and then just blend it all out after as well. This is an e.l.f. stippling brush, but again, I will try to have all the products I use below to the best of my ability. I know it probably looks really harsh and crazy, but... We can tone it down. A little bit of highlighter on. I'm using my Victoria's Secret um, Trio Face Palette that I've been using since I got it last January at the semi-annual sale. It's like pretty much one of my favorite makeup staples to have. Taking a big stippling brush is the Eco Tools one, and I'm just blending it out so you don't see any harsh lines. And it looks like I just have a nice little flushed, like, oh, Christmas party face. Same with up here and over here. I don't know why I'm doing that. Probably force a habit. <laughs> This is the last step for your face if you guys want. You could put on an under eye concealer. I'm not doing this for this look because this is more of a simple kind of holiday look that you can definitely wear, especially if you're not really into makeup or whatever, um, and you're just starting makeup or whatever um, in high school, and uh, you just want to look nice for a holiday party or friend's secret Santa or something. You don't want to go crazy. So that's the reason why I'm not putting on under eye concealer, but I am going to be finishing off the look with my Maybelline Vivid's lipstick and on... Fire red. Oh. 
this is pretty much the finished first makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, also, you can obviously use lip liner. I just didn't because you guys know I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing these looks for you guys today. But this was to be definitely something I would wear probably to a family holiday sort of party, family gathering, something like that. No, some, not, nothing. This definitely would be something that I would wear to a family gathering, family party, friend party kind of thing. I wouldn't really wear this to like a really high class event sort of party or company party or whatever but I really but I think you could if, if you wanted to you can definitely rock it but uh, I really really like this look it is very kind of simple with a nice brown smoky eye and it's just with a nice bold lip attached to it so if you guys want to see the second look which is more of bolder colorful eyes and nude lips then stay tuned this look this is going to be more of a darker kind of like colorful eye look and more of a nude lip as I've said so first thing I'm going to start Start off with again is my smash photo finish shadow primer that I obviously have been loving like I just said to you guys before it is really awesome uh, will I repurchase the full size I have no idea maybe maybe not um, I do want to try the Urban Decay um, primer potion but um, as you guys know I prefer to just shop drugstore just because it's not just because it's cheaper, but there are some good products that you can get at the drugstore that you guys know I have been a fan of for a long, long time. Like, I love Maybelline mascaras. I love um, using different foundations. I'm obsessed with the CoverGirl ones. So, with that being said, I just don't find the need to shop really high-end, even though a lot of people are like, oh my god, high-end. No, um, but I do like to splurge, so, which is why I have this. <laughs> so now I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Electric Palette. Oh my god, I love this palette. Um, it's just kind of, like, it, it is kind of hard to work in these colors sometimes, but I really just love it. So the first color I'm actually going to take is this color right here in Revolt, and I'm just going to put it in the inner corners of my eyes. I'm going to be recreating um, sort of like a Christmassy look that I've already done for um, my channel. If you guys have not seen, I don't remember what video it was. I think it was uh, my Christmas tag or something. I don't remember. I don't remember. I think it was my favorites, actually. And putting it in my inner corner and sort of working it out with a small end of this um, Urban Decay um, brush that came with my palette. The next, I'm just going to take this green color called Freak right on my lid for the next part. I'm not going to be covering it completely, but I am going to... Um, be doing a good majority of it so probably about this much it's kind of like we're making stripes on our eyes so you want to leave a little bit like probably about that much of your um, lid left for the last whoops last color we're going to use now with the smaller end I'm just going to go back in to my inner corner and uh, use that silver and blend it into the green a little more just so it looks a little bit more uh, put together and not so like crazy the next out of my BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette, I'm just going to take a dark, shimmery kind of black color. So I'm going to take this color right here and put it on the remainder corner of my lid and uh, adding it slightly, slightly underneath my lower lid. So we're going to do that. Then I'm also going to just put this into the crease a little bit, not much, even though it looks like, oh my god, you just ruined your makeup look, Sam. No, 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 no. I'm just putting some right in the corner part. I'm not even really going to blend it out yet. Going back to the electric palette, I'm going to use this color Slow Burn. Now, just a little warning to you guys that um, Slow Burn, Savage, Jilted, and Urban are a couple of the colors that are in this palette that actually will stain your lid. As unbelievable as it sounds, it does happen, and it did happen to me when I used Savage on my lids. Um, but what I'm doing with Slow Burn is just putting it underneath my lower line with the black, and I'm actually going to just end up blending it all out. I know it looks a little bit crazy and like, oh no, you got an eye infection, but um, you don't have to do this step if you don't want to. I just like it because it kind of incorporates Christmas colors into it, into the look. 
Now taking my blending brush, I'm just gonna blend everything out, starting with the black to the green. This is what my look looks like now. Basically, you guys can get kind of the gist of it. Um, I kind of messed up on this eye a lot. I already put Revolt in my inner corner. I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit more with more Revolt if I can get it on my brush. I have to say that Revolt's probably like one of the worst pigmented um, colors in this palette. Maybe it's just my palette. I don't know. I just think it's pretty bad. Um, just to give it that Silver Bells look. <laughs> Do I sound weird right now or what? And then I'm just taking one of the highlight colors in my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm just putting that on my, um, as a brow highlight. As you guys know. I pretty much do brow highlight no matter what eye look I do. Now, same thing, I'm going to be taking my Rimmel London um, eyeliner on my waterline. Just going to darken it up because I did just try to take it off. And I am going to be putting top liner on. I'm using my Velvet by Miji Cosmetics eyeliner that I've been using for months now and I love it. And you guys will probably get a review of a break because I am so obsessed with it. Going as close to my lash line as possible with it. Try to do somewhat of a thin line since the look is already pretty intense. I don't want to make like a really intense um, eyeliner line. My lashes are pretty much already curled from uh, my previous look, but you guys obviously can curl your lashes. And I'm just going to apply some more um, Rimmel London Mascara. Today is not my good day with this eye. This whole eye, like the eyeliner, everything is off. And it's really, like, throwing me for a loop here. Mm. I totally forgot my last look about eyebrows, so I am going to do my eyebrows in this one. I cannot believe that I forgot to do my eyebrows. Like, really, Sam? But since the look is already intense enough, I'm not going to be doing any filling. I am just going to use my regular um, e.l.f. brow gel. You can fill them in. I usually do fill them in, but um, since this look is pretty much already very intense, and if you guys, if you guys and girls don't feel like filling in them brows, then brow gel is just the best, best thing ever, and it really is, and I love it so much. Even if my eyebrows are not even and they look cray, and y'all know that because I have really bad brows. Then I am just going to be taking some bronzer onto my e.l.f. Um, angled bling brush, and I'm actually just going to go in a number three on my face. As you guys can see, the classic number three is the lazy girl's way of putting on bronzer, which is very true because I'm very lazy sometimes. And this is, I'm still using the same Victoria's Secret palette as well, if you guys are wondering. And then go down here. I know you guys can see all my pimples today. Take my stippling brush and blend it all out. The last step in this look is my under eye concealer. Um, I love this concealer. I've been using it for so long now. It is just like a miracle in a little tube. However, I don't know when it runs out, so... I might have to buy one very soon. I, I have no idea, to be honest with y'all. I usually like to do intense contouring as well to my to my nose, but I'm not going to do that today. But I will show you guys in another tutorial if you guys want. If you guys want me to do a contouring, bronzing, contouring um, video. Because summer is coming. Well, not yet, but spring and summer. And you guys can see instantly brightened. I instantly look more awake, which is good. And then I'm just going to set that with my e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder, which is amazing. Ing. I love it. I love using this powder. I've used it for probably over a year now. I think even more. I don't even know. But it is just awesome. And it just sets everything so nicely. Finally, for lips, you can do whatever kind of lip color that you want. Even if you do want to make it even more bold and go with a red lip or pink lip, whatever, you guys can do that too. But for this look, I am just going to go with a more neutral look. I've been loving my uh, Maybelline Touch of Spice, the creamy matte lipstick, but I'm not going to be using this one for this look, shockingly enough. I'm actually going to be using um, my Maybelline Warm Me Up, which is... What, y'all? What? If you guys know how I feel about this lipstick, leave it below because it's pretty, it's never going to change. I love this lipstick. I'm just going to take a mirror. So this the closest one is my eyebrow kit. So I wanted to go a little bit lighter on the nude color. You could definitely go with a more neuter toned um, lipstick. This one is in um, Nude Lust by Maybelline's from their nudes collection. I absolutely love this lipstick as well, even though I don't use it that often because I love kind of like a darker 
nude color like I really really love like warm me up touch of spice I just like those kind of nude colors especially since warm me up is pretty much a better enhanced version of already my natural lip color so that's why I love it this is pretty much my completed look I hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed this video I hope it helped you in some way and give you an idea of what kind of makeup you want to do for Christmas or holiday party company party I already went to a holiday party, so I think I did it pretty smoky-eyed and kind of nude nude lip because I just really love dark eyes, and I think I would have rather had, like, really smoky eyes than a really bright lip at the party, but that's just me, so... Mm. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this two-in-one tutorial, and again, I hope it helped you, and I will see you guys hopefully in the next few days with a next video. You can try and get over the sickness. I'm so sick of being sick, and I'm going to be sick on Christmas. Meh! Um, but yeah, so I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video.